Hey folks, I'm Justin and welcome back to another video. Squirrels are back in stock. If you are looking for the Squirreled Away Bloomborough Commander deck, check your stores. Now, whenever I get Magic products, I always try to go to my local game store, my LGS, because one, I just think they're amazing, but also it keeps a place that I like in business when I support them. However, if your stores are like mine, Every local game store in my area is either completely out of stock of Squirreled Away or they're charging way over MSRP, even though it doesn't exist anymore. They're charging $80 to $100 for this one deck. Now, I understand the logistics of why they might need to do that, but sometimes it's nice to be able to find a product for what it actually costs. So, what I did is check my big box stores like a Target or Walmart this week, actually yesterday, and I found that tons of Squirreled Away decks were back in stock. If you're looking for one, go check it out there. I left plenty in stock because I'm not a terrible scalper, so I only got one, but I'm excited to open up Squirreled Away and go through the cards. However, before I did that, I wanted to let you know, if you were looking for a deck, go check your stores and check with your LGS to see if they have it back in stock too. All right, let's break into Squirrels and see what we get. All right, so let's crack open Squirreled Away from Bloomborough. This is easily, oh, this deck is nuts. So this is easily probably the best, I think, commander deck, um, not only in terms of reprint, but popularity uh, from Bloomborough. Let's see, what is this? We got our box and our little collector sample. I'm actually gonna save that for my little treasure chest later. Put that stuff out of the way. You got your box, you can punch out some little tokens and things like that. Ow, there we go. Alright. I really like the posters. I actually collect these. I'm gonna put these up when I finally build my studio, which is soon. Look at that. That's so neat. Okay. Let's get into the deck. We can put that stuff over there. We got Hazel up first. Alright, starting off first, we have Hazel of the root bloom which is the face commander of the deck you know what i'll point something out at least right now these cards the foils are very very flat which is super nice i'm gonna have to throw that into a double sleeve really quick so that it stays completely flat but if it doesn't warp at all that's nice okay hazel you know what i'm actually going to do something different for this video so i'm going to separate the cards that i would double sleeve versus the cards i'm not going to so hazel because she's a foil definitely gets that and then we have Odd Acorn Gang. That's also a foil, it's a little hard to tell. Definitely double sleeve it. Nice, we got Garuk, the Cursed Hunter. Oh, this is a foil too. That is sweet. Very, very cool. I thought that the deck was gonna have the Liliana, but uh, Garuk is cool too, especially because he creates tokens, it's perfect. All right, double sleeve these guys. Chittering Witch, um, I forget, I think this is still a pretty valuable rare, right? I'm gonna put it over here though. Okay, Insatiable Frugivore enters, create a food token, then you may exile three cards from your graveyard, repeat this process. Interesting, I'm gonna say maybe not. Moonstone Eulogist, okay. This is a bat, so not a squirrel. When an, every creature an opponent controls dies, you create a blood token. Okay, that's pretty cool. Put him over there, maybe. Swarm Yard Massacre. Create two squirrels. Then each creature who isn't an insect, rat, spider, squirrel gets minus one. So it's kind of a board wipe. That's neat. Probably that one. Brewmaster. Is this a good one? Whenever Hazel's Brewmaster enters or attacks, exile up to one target card from a graveyard. Create a food. Food. Have all activated abilities. Ooh. That actually seems pretty good. I like that. You can turn your food into utility. Very neat. Woe Strider. Mm, let's see. Escapes with counters on it. This seems just like a, a good graveyard card. I'll put that one over here. Saw in Half. I know Saw in Half was like a much needed reprint and was probably the like biggest reprint of this deck, right? Saw in Half. Not only is that art just amazing, so so cool, but I know that's a that's a expensive card, so we're gonna put them over there. Ogre Slumlord. Decree of Pain, I like these. These are some good reprints. It would have been sweet to have a squirrel-specific art, but I know you can't do that for every single one, right? Gorman's Talent, I think this one is getting a little bit more pricey. All the talent cards, um, or the uh, the class cards, are doing really well right now in terms of value, so we'll definitely 
Double Sleep Gormans, Rootcast Apprenticeship. It's a modal card, okay. Create some tokens, put some counters, target opponent sacrifices, I like that. That's probably a Double Sleeps card. Ooh, Myriad Myriad with Squirrels. I like that, probably that one. And Raise Forerunner. So I really like this card because this is kind of a cheaper um, like Crater Hoof Behemoth. So if you have a Crater Hoof, definitely uh, replace it with this card in this deck to make your deck even stronger. And that's something I'm going to do in the future. I'm going to make a follow-up video on how I'm upgrading my deck based on the cards that I have around. And what's cool about doing that method is that your pool of available cards grows all the time. So you can always, always update with more powerful cards as you get them, as you trade for them, anything like that. I think Arasta was at least over a dollar, right? So I'm going to keep her on this side. Deep Forest Hermit. I think that the Hermit's good. Anything that buffs your squirrels is probably a good card. I know Toski's definitely a nice value card. I needed one of these for my Mono Green deck. I guess I have one, but I just don't want to shuffle them back and forth. Maybe I'll pick up a second one. Beastmaster Ascension. Okay, not only is this art completely gnarly, look at that thing. That's, um, what was it? It was like a beehive badger or something like that from uh, the, main, the main set. Oh, the art just gives me nightmares, but it's amazing. Love that. Okay, that's definitely going over here. Second harvest for each token you control, create a token that's a copy. So that art is amazing. I think even though a lot of these cards you could easily get and build, whoops, my camera's jiggling. You could easily get the singles for this deck online and rebuild it um, a little bit cheaper in some ways. Uh, for cards that have unique art that are reprinted, you just can't get those except in the deck. Really, really cool. Shamanic Revelation, Chatterfang. That's a really good black green squirrel general. Definitely double sleeve him. Casualties of War. Wow, really cool. Choose one or more. I really like that. I'll definitely double sleeve that one. Wind Grace's Judgment. Destroy target non land permanent for each of the other opponents. That's pretty good. Put them over here though. Maskwood, I know that's a good card. Put it over here. Cadding Manufacturer, this is good. The Temple, eh, we can go single sleeve on the Temples. <laughs> Woodland Cemetery, I think that's a double sleeve. I have one of these already in foil Necro Blossom, but I think it's a good one. Oran Reef, super good card, especially for creature decks. Really needed another one of these too. A Swarm Yard with unique art. Oh, wow. That's amazing, isn't it? So, so cool. I love, I love that reprint. Exotic Orchard, this is what I mean. Look at this art. Look at this. Like, I normally don't play Exotic Orchard, but I love this art so much, I might just keep it in the deck. That's so neat. Lenore Wastes, maybe? Maybe it's a double sleeve. Grim Backwoods, nah. Viridescent Bog, that's really pretty. I don't know if that's a... We'll put it over here anyway, because I'm not sure. Twilight Mire, I know that's a good reprint. I remember paying like 20 bucks for these back in the day. <laughs> Gilded Goose, very good reprint. Chitter Spitter. Over here, Maelstrom Pulse. Look at that art too. Just amazing. Love Maelstrom. Belladross was an amazing reprint. Wow. Love Belladross. Definitely needed that card too. Over here, Idol of Oblivion. Draw a card if you create a token. Sword of the Squeak. I don't know. Is this a good value card? I love that it has the synergy with our deck. We'll put it over here. I know it's new. Morbid Opportunist is just fantastic. We're putting them over there. Plate Crafter, Nadir's Nightblade, Plum the Forbidden, an excellent reprint. Love that one. Bastion, definitely. Cash Grab. Look at that guy. Cute. Jatterstorm, excellent card. If you can get a lot of low cost stuff out that turn, right? You're casting spells to get the storm, you're getting a lot of squirrels. Lot of squirrels. Moldervine Reclamation, that's a great one. Poison Tip Archer, whenever another creature dies, each opponent loses one life. That's fantastic for tokens. Ravenous Squirrel. I think there's a promo out of him right now that you can get at the game store. Sky Fisher Spider. Let's see, 
Binding the old gods. That's pretty cool. Green black has a lot of access to just destroy target permanent. I have a full art version of this, so I'm gonna replace that one. Jungle Hollow, wow. Look at the art on that though. Isn't that amazing? Haunted Mire, Nested Shambler, Deadly Dispute. Deadly Dispute is a very good card. Definitely put it over here. Zolport Cutthroat, also very good. Squirrel Sovereign, love the art on that one. Prosperous Innkeeper, I think this is a, this was a, a needed reprint too, right? I remember looking at this card at one point, Halfling, and uh, I think it was over a dollar or two. Haywire Might is amazing. Holy cow, Tireless Provisioner. <laughs> I mean, this whole deck is just like excellent value cards. Squirrel Nest, perfect. Honored Dre Leader, very nice. Terra Asunder. Oh my gosh. Like I said, this, this whole deck is just like, whether it's the rares or the uncommons, it's just value cards. They're so good. Even if you were to tear this deck apart and trade it or, or whatever, if you had to, I guess, uh, or wanted to. Arcane Signet. Okay. Look at that. I think they have new, new art for the soul ring too. That's amazing. I might, I might sleeve that one up because it's finally some new art. Got Golgari Signet. Talisman of Resilience. Yes, yes, see there's new art for the soul rings. Water surges in a mysterious crater created aeons ago, revered by that folk as a nexus for the cosmos. That's super cool, super cool. Skull clamp, oh my gosh. Dude, the value just keeps going. Amazing card though, I only have one of those, but that's an excellent reprint. That Terramorphic Expanse, so, so cool. Path of Ancestry, Evolving Wilds, Command Tower, look at the Command Tower art. I mean, I would pick these decks up just for the reprint art because it's so cool. They finally gave you, you know, a reason to have a new Command Tower. Uh, we'll put this over here actually because I love that art. Bochukabog, that's a good one. Take it, quit. Baron Moore. Okay. We got a bunch of swamps. Really neat art though. I know you're like, would you stop saying that? I just love the art on them. Look at them. They're so vibrant. Bloomborough's amazing. Ooh, okay. And then we got our tokens. Squirrel, treasure. Squirrels, of course. We got an Eldrazi. Wow. Clue, pest, spider, blood, shapeshifter, human soldier, rat, goat, rat. And a on your turn, how to play. And a raccoon. That raccoon is very cool too. Yeah, so this deck is amazing. I'm really looking forward to sleeving it up. Thank you for watching with me. And like I said, I'm going to have a video where I show you the upgrades that I plan on making, because um, the deck is amazing out of the box, but I think there's, there's a couple things here and there that we could probably replace and make it even more powerful and fun to play with your friends or at the store. Stay tuned, thanks for watching. Enjoy the game and we'll see you again soon. Bye everybody.